So thankful for what God is doing this morning. How many of you all just enjoyed the presence of the Lord this morning, whether it was in, in worship through the Word? I know what Pastor Kevin spoke this morning was absolutely just so in, just impacting. I'm so thankful for that. Well, tonight, um, I just want to say a prayer right now to just bring our hearts and bring our minds into focus together. Because there's so many great things that I believe are going to happen this evening. But the number one thing is that our conduit goes straight to heaven, that we open our hearts and open our minds right now. So let's just stand to our feet. Father, I thank you so much for who you are. I thank you for what you do in this place, God. We thank you. We lift you high. God, tonight, I pray, Lord, that we just join with generations behind us and generations before us as we sing together tonight, as we worship you, and as we move ourselves into position, Lord, to hear exactly what you want to speak tonight. We bless you in this room. We bless you in this time together. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I just want to take a few minutes before we start tonight and just, just share my heart about where I want to go tonight, where, where we want to go as a team, where we want to go as a room. The last thing I want to do is come in and entertain you. The last thing I want to do is come in and fill a time slot or or just sing songs, just sing words on a screen. Anyone can do that. That's boring. (laughs) There's so much more available to us than that. Okay? Here's what I know about God. He draws near to us if we draw near to Him. He's a God who responds. He's a God who wants to be pursued, okay? So some of us, it's easy to just come into these moments and just kind of like lay out and bask in the glory and just like wait for something to happen to you. But when we wait on God, it's more than just just sitting back and waiting for something to happen. It's an active place of waiting. Does that make sense? You actively wait. You pursue God. You... you, uh, recite scripture if you need to you you sing uh, you sing in the spirit you just make a sound there's going to be times throughout tonight that might be maybe it'll be a little uncomfortable might be a little different i want to just like take times take moments maybe extended moments where we just wait on the lord maybe there's no words being sung maybe it's just a melody being played maybe it's just a rhythm being played we want to do whatever god wants to do tonight but i do know this that god wants to meet with you more than you want to meet with him He wants to meet with you. He wants to blow your mind tonight. But he's a God who responds to the ones who draw near to him. If we draw near to him, then he will draw near to us. If you seek me, you will find me. If you seek me with all of your heart, he responds. He meets us in the middle. Okay? So... I want to tell you tonight, you have permission. You don't need it from me, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. You have permission to pursue God however you want to, okay? And some of us are a little self-conscious. Maybe you're self-conscious about the person next to you hearing your voice. Anybody? Anybody in the room? Come on. I want to challenge you tonight to not care. And if you do care, get somewhere in the room to where they're not able to listen to you, okay? It's part of your pursuit of his presence. Get in a place where you can actually express yourself before the Lord. If you want to dance tonight, get somewhere where you can dance. If you want to sing at the top of your lungs, I don't even care if it sounds good. Just sing at the top of your lungs and go for it. He's a God who wants to be pursued. Okay? If you need to get somewhere in the room, if you need to just find a corner in the room and just stare at the wall so you're not distracted by anything, do whatever it takes to get your encounter. Okay? Do whatever it takes to find him. If you want to come to the altar, if you want to make your chair an altar, if you want to kneel, if you want to dance, if you want to sing, if you want to shout, if you want to do whatever, there's no rules, okay? There's no rules tonight other than to pursue him. So this is what I want us to do. If if you are one of those who are self-conscious, I'm just going to put you on the spot right now. Get somewhere in the room right now. Literally do it. I'm not just, I don't want to just say it and no one do it. <laughs> if you need to do it, then do it. Get somewhere in the room where you, can, where you can meet with God, okay? He's worth it. He is so worth your pursuit. He is so fascinatingly beautiful. He is so 
worth your time. The fact that you even came out tonight moves his heart more than you even know, more than you'll ever know. To meet with God. It's what we were created for. It's Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. It says, it's the song of the 24 elders. You know, we, we all know the song of the seraphim. It says they, sing, they stare at God and they sing the same word over and over and over again. Holy, holy, holy. You know what holy means? Holy means that he's completely different than anything you've ever seen or known before. He's completely unlike anything that you've ever experienced. Holy means he's other than. He is different. He is totally, completely pure. He's totally, completely beautiful. He shines. Says, uh, the Bible says that God is light and there is no darkness in him at all. It says he's an all-consuming fire. There's a reason that the seraphim stand before the throne day and night for billions of years without any rest and they sing the same song over and over and over again. And sometimes we get bored of singing the same songs after 10 minutes, right? Sometimes if I hear it, I'm not even going to say the name of the song. If I hear that song one more time, I'm going to lose it. They're singing the same song for a billion years and they've never gotten bored. Because it's the only thing that can come to their mind to describe what they're seeing. And after a billion years of singing about this one facet of who he is, he reveals another facet of who he is. And they sing it all over again as if it was the first time. And I love in Revelation chapter 4 that the 24 elders, it says in response to the song of the four living creatures, the seraphim, in response to their song, it creates a heart cry of agreement. And it says whenever the living creatures sing their song, it creates this other song in the hearts of the 24 elders. It says they cast their crowns before the Lord and they say, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. Because you created everything and it's by your will and for your pleasure that we exist and we're created. Did you know that you were created on purpose? He did not need you. He didn't create you so you could be a slave. He didn't create you so you could be his minions to run around for him. He created you because he desires you. He created you because he wants to be with you. Because he loves you with an everlasting love. Oh, he wants to meet with you tonight. So all across the room, would you just lift your hands? Would you just get ready to meet with God? He's here already. But as you pursue him, his presence is going to become more and more and more tangible. The weight of his glory is going to get more and more heavy. The atmosphere of heaven is coming in this room, even right now even right now Holy Spirit we welcome you we welcome the presence of God in this room we welcome the presence of God in our hearts tonight God I ask for a corporate encounter in this room release your glory in this room take us beyond what we've known take us beyond what we've seen or experienced before take us beyond words on a screen take us beyond songs and sermons take us beyond to the more there's always more of you god there's a reason the seraphim stay there's a reason they linger there's a reason they wait is because they know there's more of you to be discovered god we want to we want to discover more tonight we press into the more We press into the more tonight. So now all across the room, with your hands lifted, would you just begin to lift up your own sound? Would you begin to lift up your own song? The Bible says sing in the spirit or sing in your understanding, meaning sing in English, sing whatever language you like, or sing in the Holy Spirit. If you have a prayer language, lift up that sound. Okay, but only you can make your sound. You have a unique sound that God created you to make, so you have to make your sound. Okay? Lift up your sound tonight. Come on, if you're hungry, make a sound. We press in for the more, Lord. We press in for more, Lord. We want your glory here, Lord. We want your presence here. More than just a visitation, holy habitation. Release your glory in the room. 
Praise you again and again. Cause all that I have is a hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know it's not much. I have nothing else fit for a king. Except for this heart singing Hallelujah. I just feel the Holy Spirit say, even as I was singing that, um, I know it's not much, but it's all that I have. And I just feel like the Lord is saying to us tonight, your heart is the only thing I'm after. <laughs> we say it to him like, oh, but this thing is so broken. <laughs> this thing is so frail and so fragile. 
God, why would you even want this? And, and I just feel the, the tenderness of, the, of, of God tonight, the tenderness of the Lord's heart towards us. Saying your heart is the whole thing that I came for. The joy set before me, the reason I endured the cross was for your heart to be mine. So just even in this moment, just surrender your heart to the Lord. But we lay down. We lay down on brokenness tonight, God. We lay down our attempts to, to act and to feel like we've got everything together, Lord. You know our brokenness. You know our frailty. You're not surprised by it. You're not threatened by it. And I just hear you, your voice saying tonight, God, you say, come to me all you who are weak and who are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Just surrender your heart to him right now. All the good things that you'd give him anyway and even the ugly things that you're ashamed of, that you've hidden from him in shame. The Bible says even the darkness is just like light to him. He sees it all anyway. There's no reason to hide it from him. He wants everything tonight. Lord, I give you my heart. Give you my soul. And I live for you alone Every breath that I take Every moment I'm awake Come and have your way in me Lord, I give you my heart I give you my soul And I live for you alone Every breath that I take Every moment I'm awake Lord, have your way in me Thank you, Lord. Atmosphere is changing now For the Spirit of the Lord is here The evidence is all around That the Spirit of the Lord is here The atmosphere The atmosphere is changing That the spirit of the Lord is here. It's an overflow. Overflow in this place. Fill our hearts with your love.
atmosphere is changing now For the Spirit, for the Spirit of the Lord is here I believe the evidence is all around That the Spirit of the Lord The atmosphere here, the atmosphere For the spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence, the evidence is all around. That the spirit of the Lord is here. Overflowing, overflowing this place.
us above, take us beyond everything we've ever known, everything we've ever seen. Take us above, take us beyond everything we've ever known, everything we've ever seen. The whole world. Oh, 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 oh. Cause the latter glory will be greater than the former glory. Oh. will be greater than the former glory I believe, I believe, I believe that the latter glory is gonna be greater than the former glory
miracle tonight. Come on. If anyone in the room needs a miracle tonight, raise your hand. Some of us have been contending for a breakthrough, for a miracle for a long time. I believe tonight is a night of breakthrough. I believe tonight is a night of answered prayer. Who, who's sick in their body? Who has an ailment in their body and needs to be healed tonight? Raise your hand. The rest of the room, just become the ministry team. Would you stretch your hands out towards those people? Lord, we declare that by the blood of Jesus, by the victory of the cross, by his death, And by his resurrection, by the stripes upon his back, by the bruises and the suffering that he endured, everything that he accomplished on that cross, everything that he accomplished at his resurrection, God, we call it into fruition right now in these bodies. We say sickness must go in Jesus' name. Pain must go in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Release miracles in the room. Signs and wonders. You said you would confirm the word of the Lord with signs and wonders. God, we, tonight we delight in your word. And we say, would you confirm your word with signs and wonders? You said the latter glory would be greater than the former glory. You said in the last days we would do greater works than even you, Jesus. So Lord, release greater works in this house tonight. We take you at your word. You said it, so we believe it. Manifest healing right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, release the fire of God. Release the power of heaven. Oh, release the glory of your presence. If anyone in the room, if you, if you can do something now that you couldn't do five minutes ago, raise your hand. Test it out. Test it out. If you couldn't move a an arm or a leg, just test it out. If the Lord has touched you, raise your hand. Come on. Come on. We've got hands raised over here. Anyone over here? Has the Lord touched you? We've got a hand over here. The Lord is doing miracles in the house tonight. He's here in the house tonight. He's here. That is impossible for us to do. We didn't make that happen. God showed up and he healed these bodies tonight. Who in the room deals with depression? There's no shame in that tonight. If, there's a, if, you, if you struggle with depression or maybe there's a chemical imbalance, I believe that God can restore that thing. Tonight, God, we say shame has to go in Jesus' name. God, I call forth kingdom alignment in our minds in our, in, and in our emotions. Depression. That foul spirit of depression has to go right now. The the oppressor must flee at the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, release your glory in the room. Depression must go. Depression must go. In Jesus' name, like a cloud lifting off their minds right now, Lord, in Jesus' name, release your glory in our hearts and in our minds, in our emotions. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. How many of you have been praying for a prodigal family member to come home? Anyone? Come on. I believe tonight, tonight, tonight is a night of breakthrough and a night of answered prayer. God, I ask that the prayers of the righteous would availeth much tonight. God, you've heard our prayers. You've seen our tears. You've seen our travail. You've seen our intercession. God, call home the sons and daughters tonight. God, I ask for miraculous restoration in our families. God, I ask that you release the spirit of Elijah. Turn the hearts of the children to their fathers and the hearts of the fathers to their children. Tonight, Lord, I ask for a tenderness. God, for the ones who have turned their backs on their family, the ones who have turned their backs on you, God, I just ask tonight that you would arrest their hearts, that you would tenderize their hearts. Your word says you give them hearts of flesh where there was once hearts of stone. God, would you take those stony hearts and make them soft again? Tonight, tonight, bring them home, bring them home, bring them home, bring them home, God. I feel like the Lord wants to heal marriages tonight. 
restoring love between husbands and wives tonight. Thank you, Lord. Where there are some who might be even on the brink of divorce, I believe the Lord is going to come in and do a miracle, a miraculous work in your heart tonight. Lord, bring restoration. Do what only you can do, God. Do what no other counselor could do. No marriage counselor could do it, God. Hours and hours of therapy couldn't do it, God. But you, (laughs) you can do it in a moment. It's what you do. It's who you are. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Release your glory in marriages. Release your glory in families. Release your glory in finances. I ask for those who need a financial miracle tonight. That they would be anxious for nothing. That they would know that they would rest in the faithfulness of God. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are a provider. You provide for all of our needs according to the riches of your glory. Do what only you can do, God. Spirit of God, break in tonight. Break into this house tonight. Break into our hearts tonight. Break in to our families, Lord. Break into our marriages. Break into our minds. Break into our bodies, God. All across this room, Lord, whatever the need is, God, you can provide it. If there's something that you need, if there's a miracle that you need that maybe I didn't mention tonight, God is in the room. God is in the room. You don't need me to call it out. You don't need someone else to say it over you. God is, the kingdom is here. The kingdom is at hand. Okay? So just name it. Name it. Just put it out in the atmosphere tonight. Say, God, I need a miracle in this area. I need a miracle tonight in this area. Just call it out. Just call it out. He's going to meet you tonight. Jesus, release miracles. Release your glory. Release your presence. touching me tonight. Just thank Him. Just, just thank the presence of God. I believe that thankfulness, gratitude is a, is a doorway into the more of God. Thank you is the password into the more. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you're doing right now. God, we ask that you would release more. Oh, God, you who are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or imagine, would you do it tonight? Do it tonight, Lord. Spirit of God, fall fresh on us. We need your presence, your kingdom come, your will be done.
the house of the Lord All the days of my life The days of my life Oh, I want to dwell In the house of the Lord All the days of my life All the days of my life One thing if I desire to the Lord One thing will I seek after To see the beauty of the Lord In your temple Oh, to dwell with you forever Oh, to dwell with you forever Cause I want to dwell In the house of the Lord All the days of my life All the days of my life And I want to dwell In the house of the Lord all the days of my life, all the days of my life, I want to dwell, and I want to dwell in the house of the Lord. All the days of my life, all the days of my life, oh, I want to dwell in the house of the Lord.
can do I just want you I think I just want you I just want you Nothing else Nothing else Nothing else will do I just want you Nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else. Nothing else.
the glory of the Lord. Let the presence of the Lord rest in this room. Rest in this room. We've prepared a resting place for you. Right here, oh Lord. Right here, oh Lord. Right here, oh Lord. We prepare a resting place where your glory can dwell. Trophy 
victories and accomplishments. Oh, you're the only thing that remains anyway. I'm living for just one thing, just to see your face.
let it be said of tonight that we met with God. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Just wait here a moment. Just connect your heart with his. Connect your eyes with his. Look for in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strange and dim. And the of his glory and grace so turn your eyes upon Jesus look for
Did you receive anything this evening? Would you stand with me? Yeah. I knew it was going to be good, but honestly, I even underestimated it. It was a real strong, thick presence all the way back there to the back, all the way through the evening. Isn't it good just to take the lid off sometimes? Yeah. So programmed, so structured. And it's good to have a plan, but sometimes God just likes to deviate just a little bit from what you thought he wanted it to do. Anybody who got healed tonight? Anybody who got set free tonight? I believe you did too. Matt Gilman, thank you for being here with us all day. Incredible anointing. We'll get him back real soon. Maybe him and his wife will come with him next time. And they all minister together, and we'll, we'll do this again real soon. How about that? Would you all enjoy that? Yeah, me too. Well, I'm supposed to receive an offering tonight, but you know what? I'm not going to receive one. I'm not going to do it. I just want to take this presence that we feel. Tomorrow is Monday. Get you a good night's sleep. Wake up tomorrow know that tomorrow is a, not a, it's not just a brand new day, it's really a brand new day. Take a deep breath before you go to sleep, inhale and exhale, and Monday's coming, and you're not going to just let Monday do you, you're going to do Monday, because you've been in the presence of the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, we thank you, and we thank you for your glory, your presence, the atmosphere of worship. We thank you for the gift and the anointing that you brought through Matt here today. And Lord, we just, as you released it in your people, let your people never be the same. Let them just have a craving for more of you as they walk out of these doors tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. And everybody said, amen. God bless you all. Have a great week. We'll see you Wednesday night.